The Stranger Zone. It is accurate to state that we operate in three essential states. There are varying degrees within those states, differing levels of intensity, which are affected by factors such as the type of narcissist that we are, what we require from you, the, the category of empathic individual that you are as well, along with other factors. In essence, though, there are three basic states. The first, as you would expect, is the golden period. This is when we are at our most wonderful, most brilliant and most loving when in this state. Of course, it is always an illusion. This appears during our seduction of you and will be reinstated from time to time during the sustained devaluation. It also appears when we hoover you, if we are looking to suck you back into the formal relationship, or even just to acquire fuel from you, without resurrecting the formal relationship. The second setting is the dark setting, devaluation. This dark setting allows us to deploy a variety of machinations and manipulations against you, a variety of different behaviours as the abuse begins and we make your life particularly unpleasant. This requires effort and energy on our part. And whilst we will be rewarded with control and fuel, a certain degree of application is required to use these manipulations against you. When we unveil our dark setting, it is upsetting and confusing as you are devalued, but invariably you will find some reason to explain our behaviour. That stated, you invariably end up going to the wrong reason, but you find one nonetheless, as, being a truth-seeking empath, you need to understand, you need to have a reason to explain why someone is behaving in a certain way towards you. You decide that we are stressed, tired, hungover, in need of affection, or you may well be unduly harsh on yourselves, so that you, in the unusual empathic manner, blame yourself for the behaviour that we have meted out against you. You scold yourself, stating that perhaps you did not listen when you ought to have done, that perhaps you should have realised that we wanted to go out tonight, or that we would not want chicken for a second time this week. There is, however, a third setting, and this often proves more confusing than devaluation. Some might say this setting is a neutral setting, somewhere between the golden period and the dark of devaluation, but it isn't. This setting is on the road to devaluation, and is far closer to devaluation than to the golden period. This particular setting is the stranger zone. The stranger zone is not always apparent with all narcissists. When does it occur? It is at the start of a sustained devaluation, and invariably that means the intimate partner primary source is the recipient of this. It can occur with secondary sources, but that is less likely. Following the golden period, you move into devaluation. And at the start of that devaluation period, you may be the recipient of the stranger zone before we then move into the more obvious, dark, devaluing behaviours. Narcissists are creatures of economy. Remember, it is necessary for us to control everybody in our fuel matrix. Now, this does not mean that we are having to control every single person in the fuel matrix at every second of every day, but rather... Anybody who comes up on the radar must be controlled. Therefore, our narcissism operates in a way to ensure that so far as it possibly can, there is always something in the tank, energy-wise, to deal with the potential for the necessity of asserting control throughout the course of the day. 
So accordingly, it is a little bit like being given a store of rations, and the narcissism doesn't let us all scoff them at breakfast, and therefore we've nothing to eat all day, but instead prefers to achieve things using the minimum of effort and energy throughout the course of the day to ensure that there will be rations at a later juncture, as they will invariably be needed. The narcissism operates to ensure that so far as possible, we have the energy throughout the course of the day to assert control over the various appliances that we interact with. In order to do this, to conserve this energy, remember, devaluation requires a greater energy expenditure. And therefore, the strange zone, in part, is related to this conservation of energy. The stranger zone may not be as harsh as the dark devaluation, since there is no shouting, no violence, no insults and the like. It is not the golden period, because we show no affection in the stranger zone. We stop doing things for you, if we ever did. And we no longer exhibit any of the charm, magnetism, excitement and interest that once flowed so readily from us. During the stranger zone, we are neither wonderful nor awful, but we behave like someone who doesn't really know you, and you are invariably left feeling like you are dealing with somebody else, somebody that you don't know, a stranger. If you telephone us, we will not dole out a silent treatment or ignore your repeated calls. We will not answer in a less than a ring and speak to you with affection and enthusiasm. Instead, we answer and subject you to a monosyllabic conversation. It very much feels like drawing teeth, like getting blood from a stone. You ask is something wrong and we confirm that there is nothing wrong. But you end up feeling that there is. But you're confused. We didn't respond angrily or harshly. We're just quiet. We haven't accused you of anything. We haven't labelled you in some way. But the conversation feels flat. The sparkle, the fizz, is missing. It is as if our personality, whether golden or dark, has vanished and left almost some kind of automaton in its place. We certainly function, we talk about our day, but with little detail and certainly no enthusiasm. We may well ask questions of you, but they are polite and perfunctory. How was your day? How are you doing? What did you think of that? It very much seems like we are just going through the motions. There is no nastiness, no backbiting or sneering. It is difficult for you to process because it's not nothing. That cannot be the case. We're actually talking to you. But it feels like nothing. It puts you on edge. You keep wanting to ask, is everything all right? And we repeatedly assure you that it is. This stranger zone may result in where we call around to see you. But... It feels more like an inspector from the police has called around. We sit down, formally and stiffly. We decline a drink that you offer us, and we answer your questions without offering you very much in return. Where has the charmer gone? Where might the monster have gone? Who is this stranger that looks like us, sounds like us, but is no longer behaving like us? You are unable to accuse us of being unpleasant, but it feels unpleasant because you are dealing with somebody that you no longer recognise. Any questions about what might be wrong with us are politely answered and you are assured there is not a problem, but we almost seem lifeless. You flatter us, compliment us, and whilst we accept them in a gracious manner, there is no spark of interest. There is no response. You are in the stranger zone. Why are we like this? Why is this being done? Why do we seem like someone else, like a stranger? 
It is as if we have been abducted by aliens in the night and replaced with a robot which is neither wonderful nor savage, merely perfunctory, and that is frustrating to you. This stranger zone occurs during the devaluation period. It is not a respite from devaluation. That is when you get the golden period. It is clearly not the dark devaluation, as that is more obvious, nastiness and abuse. This stranger zone occurs at the beginning of your devaluation, and in a sense, is an indicator. It is almost like the calm before the storm. Whilst there are occasions where we may very well switch from the golden period to devaluation in the blink of an eye, this stranger zone occurs when our narcissism wishes to conserve energy in readiness for unleashing a particular savage next stage of the devaluation as and when you challenge or threaten our control. You are not cruising along being driven by fair winds, nor are you being thrown up and down, buffeted by a storm. Instead, it's as if you are becalmed, or just nudged by a weak breeze. This is the time that unconsciously our narcissism is causing us to gird our loins, to gather information, and, where you're dealing with the greater or the ultra, for there to be the calculation and plotting. The switch of functions is an indicator that something is more to come, that energy is being conserved, so that, as and when it is necessary to cause an intense outpouring of vitriol and vicious behaviours towards you during the dark devaluation, then that energy will be made available. You may not ever see this happen, dependent upon the type of narcissist that you become entangled with, but when you do, you should be aware that this behaviour does mean there's something wrong. You are in devaluation, and in effect it is a warning that there is worse to come. Where you experience the stranger zone, you are being devalued. And, despite our protestations that there is nothing wrong, and that you should stop worrying, this reduction in our enthusiasm is indicative, indicative rather, of a reduction in effect of our enthusiasm for you. We are not being horrible in the sense of insulting you, doling out physical violence, but we are now devaluing you. If anything, when you experience this, you should utilise it as a moment to get out and stay out before you really experience the awful devaluation that comes with the dark period. You're at the beginning of the devaluing period. You have not yet been brought low by the narcissist. You are now starting to get those feelings of uncertainty, nervousness, anxiety. There is a potential for it to become much worse. And rather than think that this is just a blip in the relationship, you are now solidly in devaluation and you will be moved into the dark devaluation in due course. If you are fortunate enough to recognise that you are in this now, or you know somebody who talks about an individual that they're in a relationship with behaving in this manner, give them the advice to jettison and jump ship immediately. That way, there is a good chance that they will actually avoid the peculiar and nasty dark devaluation that is waiting. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.